Cool. I'm joined by Vince Perrett and your golf buggy. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. You've been zipping around the festival all day. I had it? a good uh, tour around just now, just come back. I've yeah. been to campsite and all around to all the stages to just have a look. Are you quite excited by what you've been seeing? Are you happy how it's going? I'm happy to see the atmosphere and it's really relaxed and I'm so happy with the weather. Yeah, I'm just gorgeous. Fingers crossed. It stays like this. Yes, um, it's gorgeous, it's great. I mean, it makes such a difference. And are you, you've been quite vocal recently about Hop Farm comparing to other years and ticket sales and previously. I mean, it seems to be a massive crowd here. Like, is, is that still the case? Or? There is a good crowd here, but it's, it's a huge production. It's a huge cost. I mean, I think I've been vocal more because we have to be vocal now because we're a public company. And, uh -huh. you know, when you're using investors' money, then they want to know. So it goes out into figures and the papers interpreted the way they want to. But, you know, it's, it's, it's just a reflection of the general economy. Yeah. But, I mean, I suppose what it comes down to is the music and the festival, and it's going well. Tonight we've got Bob Dylan on the main stage. Yes. Uh, how, I'm always intrigued. How, how does that happen? How does someone get Bob Dylan to have a UK exclusive at their festival? Is it a lot of kind of... I, think over, the, I think over the years, uh, way back in the Mean Fiddler days and um, Reading, Leeds and Glastonbury, which I used to be involved in, it's just a relationship that's happened, and uh, obviously we pay good money. You know, money is always a big, uh, a big factor with uh, artists. Um, yeah. And I think he likes the uh, the style of this festival. Yeah. yeah. And like he used to like the style of the when I used to do the flower. I have probably put him on twenty times now. Twenty times. Yeah. Because nice. he was here two years ago. That's right. And yes. we're hoping. Do you think he was going to do a bit of a different set to two years ago? Hopefully, yeah, there's rumours that uh, people are going to get up with him today. Uh, <gasps> really? Yeah, do so we know who? Probably Patty Smith. Uh, there's ru it's rumours, but you know, I wouldn't. Uh, Patty Smith and Bob Dylan on stage would be yeah. quite yes. for something, wouldn't yes. it? Yes, I can hear the the applause now for uh, oh, Bruce. Oh, Bruce Forsyth. Bruce. Well, I won't keep you long. We just were saying we've gone around the festival, and one thing that's really nice about this is the kind of real generation that you have you have youngsters all the way up to oldies mm. is that something that you are quite happy with seeing that kind of crowd at hop farm is that what you want as a that was the aim to do actually that's what we wanted to do is to uh, have i think what makes that happen is the fact that we're all sort of 60s with uh, you know it's a new 40s so people are going out to festivals now where you know 20 years ago they would have given up on it and, yeah um, but you've got a lot of people out there in their 50s and 60s who have teenage children and we you know the man who was just playing now and think he's in his 80s yeah uh, most of my headliners are averaging out about 70 yeah so, <laughs> so it's quite good that that reflects in the uh, audience I suppose yeah and so we got a lot of young bands as well I mean there's yeah. a huge amount of young bands so yeah I mean I'm really pleased that this walks out like that because that's very rare I mean I think it happens at Glastonbury as well mm. but I, you don't see it very much I, I never used to see it at Reading at Reading if you're over 21 you shouldn't be there <laughs> Thanks. I, I usually go, but I'll, I'll take yeah, it. You've that. got a job. You're working. <laughs> yeah, I always said if you're over 21, you're usually in the guest and the guest area. Yeah. Um, so just in one word, how would you describe Hop Farm? Uh, it's a very personal kind of place. It's um, uh, people love it. You know, and they, it, you know, obviously not everybody loves it, but pe people like it. There's a loyalty here. It's a, it's a kind of genuine. And it's, I would describe it as a place of being about the music, really, and, and yeah. not about the. Um, all the extraordinary structures that we have and that mm. you see at other festivals which are amazing but don't ha for me doesn't don't have much depth because we're doing it for the music and people are coming here for the music music we can hear bruce forsyth i'll nice. let you go and enjoy him thank, thank you. you so much for speaking to us thanks thank you <laughs> I'll thank let you